Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. What do you think? Do you think that a company is stronger, a business company? Is it, it is stronger than a country? Militarily, let's put it this way. Do you think that Rheinmetall, that uh, German arms manufacturing company, is stronger than the Russian military? Do you think that the Russians could obliterate Rheinmetall in five minutes? Do you think it can just make it disappear from the planet Earth? I think so. Well, the problem is this. Rheinmetall, like a weasel, hides behind its immunity being in, located in Germany. Therefore, it can reach and uh, hurt Russia, but Russia cannot reach and destroy Rheinmetall. I'm going to show you what happened. Uh, Rheinmetall said, we're going to build plants, building tanks to fight and kill the Russian invaders. Okay, in, U in Ukraine, we're going to build them on the territory of Ukraine. And they said exactly where they will build the plant. It's going to be in Zakarpatia, which is very much to the west of Ukraine, used to belong to Hungary at one point. That's a big Hungarian minority over there. So these weasels make this plant. I'm going to show you where they, uh, they make it. In Ukraine, right here. You see this little dot right here? This is Fekete Arno. Uh, this is uh, the um, um, Hungarian name of the town in Ukraine. This is Romania, Moldova, here is Hungary, this is Slovakia, and this is Poland. This is Belarus, this is Russian Federation, this is Crimea, blah, blah, blah. Okay? So they want to build it right there. Why? Because they don't want to be struck by the Russian missiles. It's going to be hard for Rus Russian missiles. They can't go over Romania. They could be going, going over um, Moldova. But here, if you put some uh, defense systems right here, you can block them right there or right here. I made a video on this yesterday where the Russians said, if you build that over there or wherever you build it in Ukraine, we will destroy it. A government of a terrorist country tells that to a company and the company responds, yeah, 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 we're going to defend it with our defense systems. Now, in a real world, the Russians should say, should say okay, we're going to hit maybe the headquarters in Germany of your company. And Mr. Baraboga Bagagaba, Mr. CEO of Rand Metal, would be a wanted person, dead or alive. What do you think will happen? Oy vey! But they will not say that. So this is the same thing that the West does with Russia. They are hitting Russia without saying, oh, you can hit us back, but we're going to hit you with a long whip and a long pole. You know how the tamers, the trainers, how we want to call them in a circus, they, they do with uh, animals, with tigers, lions, with a long pole and a long whip. And the tiger fights with the pole that pokes and the whip that hits, smacks, sweep, whips, pow, pam, pam, pam. It's rarely going to jump to this source because it's not me. No, 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 no. It's this and that. So that's how the Russians are fighting. The same Rheinmetall is doing the same shit. No, 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 no. I'm in Germany. I'm not involved, but I'm going to hurt you. But you can hurt me back. And on the, on the meantime, I will just defend my property over there. So, ew. Well, let me show you this article that I have here. And uh, it comes from Ukrainska Pravda. Rheinmetall responds to Russian threats. Rheinmetall, a company, my friends, a company. It will defend its plant in Ukraine. Uh, let me go back to, so this is where it's right here. Or if you want to, and I'm going to show you nevertheless, on a bigger map right here. You see here, this is where the war is. They want to do it right here, like weasels, you know, right here. So they just cross the border here, pop, 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 supply. So the, these guys cannot destroy the supply lines. Intelligent, intelligent. But anyway, it's right here. And if you want a different kind, and I'm going to show you this, it is right here somewhere. And this little corner over there. So for this is the map of Ukraine, obviously. So for uh, the 
Russians to hit it over there. They need to go blah, 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 blah. Right here is going to be hard. It's going to be easier for these guys to defend it, to supply it and to produce. Obviously, operate. Intelligent, intelligent weasel. Weasel, it is their right. It is their right. They can build it they want, but there are consequences. And unfortunately for these guys they're here, they will just fight the whip and the long pole that they are poked with. So let's uh, read further what these guys have to say. Armin Pepperger, this is the CEO of the German arms concern Rheinmetall, has responded to Russian authorities that have threatened to view the concern's future plant in Ukraine a legitimate target of the Russian Federation. I made a video on that one right here. Yesterday, Russia promises to destroy German tank plant in Ukraine. Sneaky location by Hungary and Romania, which actually it is sneaky location right there. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. All right, uh, Armin Papperger, Papperger, in an interview with Bild cited by European Pravda on July 20th, Russian Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharova said at a briefing that the Rheinmetall plant for the production of armored vehicles in Ukraine would if built, be a legitimate target for the Russian military. Papager said that Rheinmetall would not abandon its plan, plans to set up a plant in Ukraine and that they plan to protect it from attacks with air defense systems on their own, of their own manufacture. Well, I'm pretty sure if the Russian says, okay, Papa, you're an active, uh, um, uh, how should I put it, active uh, member or uh, in, in this uh, war, and therefore you are our enemy and we're going to, uh, I don't know, uh, pay you a visit. You're an active participant. What do you think Pepper Gare will do? I think he would change his mind, but anyway. And I'm quoting, for us at Rheinmetall, us, who's us? <laughs> okay. Uh, the key task is to support our Ukrainian partners in the fight for freedom and democracy. <laughs> blah, blah. Okay, you can, but you are going to be an active participant. So there are going to be negative consequences. Or you think you're going to just help them and nobody's going to touch you and you're going to keep doing what you're doing best, which is ladies of the night uh, and other things, counting your money and to meet their urgent needs as soon as possible, end quote. They can do it, but there are consequences. And that's all I'm saying. Rheinmetall is establishing a production facility in Ukraine jointly with the Ukrainian state-owned defense company Ukroborom and will hold the majority stake. Ukrainian state-owned which gets money from us probably because uh, these guys probably not now, but you know, they're not doing very well economically. Let's put it mildly. Ammunition, armored vehicles and Panther main battle tanks are due to roll off the Ukrainian production line. The plant is expected to produce up to 400 battle tanks a year. Russians cannot allow that to happen. And to repair Fuchs armored vehicles. These are French. I'm, ex I'm expecting. In, er in early July, it was reported that the joint facility would open within the next 12 weeks. Weeks? The German company expects to sign contracts for two main uh, more joint ventures to produce ammunition and air defense. Rheinmetall is Germany's largest arms manufacturer. According to its own data, the company is one of the three largest, largest manufacturers of military equipment and ammunition in the Western world. Currently, Rheinmetall's stock market value is one or over 10 billion euros. And in the past year, it jumped, I don't know, 30% uh, or so. Uh, it, they're just lucky. That's it. They're just lucky. So my point is this. You have the right to jump in the fight. But also, those guys that will be affected, neg negatively, negatively affected by your freedom and democracy love of... Uh, remember, it's a company. They don't like freedom and democracy. A business, it's a tyrannical institution to start with. Why? Hierarchical and you don't have a democracy over there. Okay, so however he likes demo the democracy, his structure as Noam Chomsky and Howard Zinn, two uh, friends, uh, said, well, actually, these are tyrannical institutions. And they are because it's a guy over there, the boss, the tyrant, and then the mini tyrants, semi mini tyrants, and then the losers. Okay, <clears throat> that's how it is. Uh, however you want to, or the plebe, plebe, the plebe, plebeians, plebeians, is that how you say it in English? Uh, you know, the regular masses, rubble. 
I'm just exaggerating to make a point, okay? Not uh, disconsidering the workforce and the workers, okay? Uh, and the union anyway. But just while we are at it, I have to say it. So you can get in, involved with that for freedom and democracy that you are providing in your company, a-okay. And then the other guys have the right to uh, retaliate. The problem is that you put, you, you think you set the boundaries. No, 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 no. I, I'm just involved in Ukraine. That's it. You can't hit me in Germany. I would say, no, I will hit you in Germany. We will hit you wherever we find you. Like terrorists. I'm not going to just uh, attack terrorists for... Uh, I'm just giving you an example, okay? An, an analogy. I'm not going to attack only terrorists in Afghanistan. I'm going to take care of the terrorists wherever they are on this planet. I think anyone would agree with me. Why? Because the terrorists attack me. The terrorists work against me act against me, negatively affect my uh, life. Therefore, I don't care whether you're going to be on the shitter, as Putin said, in, said it, or whatever they are having. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't care. The same here. The Russians say, okay, if you get involved over there, we reserve the right of setting the boundaries of how far we can hit you. And we're going to tell the German nation, hey, German nation, if Rheinmetall is going to do that, we're going to hit them in whatever they have the headquarters in Munich, Berlin or whatever they have it. And the Germans will say, that's a declaration of war. Well, we're going to take this chance. What the Germans were going to do? Yeah, yeah, do it, do it, do it, do it. That, that's the way you think they're going to do it? All right, we'll see. I'm just, I'm just um, showing how a company, a company can talk like that with a country with military and nuclear weapons. Why? How? I mean, can you see the proportion? We're going to defend ourselves over here. Well, you have a negative impact on my business with Ukraine that you didn't have to be in. But you walked in because of profits, money. That's why you're in. Not for democracy and freedom, money. If they will give you everything, let's say you do it for free, I would say, yes, that's fine. That's okay. You got something over there. But no, they do it for money. They get paid. And you're going to be surprised who pays for that. The German people, the American people. Then because these guys don't have the money, the Ukrainians, where do you, where do you think the um, uh, Ukrainians get the money from? From their workers? From the revenues? From the taxes? No, from the Americans. We, who are our taxes that we do not agree with, they give it over there. They support the government of Ukraine and to, to be functioning again. I think the first tranche was $270 million, and now they did it again with $260 million. All right, so that's more than $500 million given by these guys in charge that we voted for one time. All right, they, did, they take it from our taxes, give it to another neighbor that I don't really care about. That's their deal over there. They should deal with one another. Well, they inserted me over there. So now they're going to tax, 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 yes, tax me more, right? The inflation is as it is, and many, many other things. The prices go higher. Why? Because they decided to insert us over there without asking me. That's, that's why democracy is uh, very, very flimsy. Very, especially the nowadays democracy. It's a scheme. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.